more on a little bit later on. But right now, some breaking news for the Mariners. They signed their first round draft pick. Not Dustin Ackley, their second, their first pick, but the first round uh, shortstop from Florida, name of Nick Franklin. He's here meeting the media today and also meeting his uh, hopefully future teammates and New York Vinny on the field with more Mariners now covering that story. He had a nice suit on, Vinny. He looked good and looked like a big leaguer today. Yeah, he, he certainly did. I mean, a beautiful day at the ballpark and a beautiful day for Nick Franklin and his family as he signs his contract. Uh, just a, a guy that the whole organization is high on, a shortstop, nice tall kid, good hands uh, from Longwood, Florida, batted about 500 in his uh, final year at uh, a very, very good high school in uh, Florida. And, uh, you know, talking to Tom O'Connor and his organization, all the people, they think that this guy is one of the shortstops and middle infielders of the future for this club. He may not be up here in a year or two, but uh, if Jack Wilson's looking around, he's probably looking over his shoulder. His big thrill was, you know, getting into the clubhouse today and meet with his state mate, Ken Griffey Jr. Griffey was actually, I mean, one of the stars that I really loved. And actually it's changed, you know, I, I like Chase Utley now. He's a great, great ball player all around, you know, in and off the foul. You know, you had a chance to talk to Griffey at all? Yes, I did, actually. <laughs> when I did, it sounded like we are long lost buds, you know, because he's from Florida also. Yeah. Right, so, I mean, it's... It's, he's, he's cool, you know. He's, he acts like one of the guys, you know, nothing different, normal person. So you've been in clubhouses a lot. What's it like to walk into a major league clubhouse for the first time? Actually, I've been, you know, through a couple clubhouses before this, but, you know, it was great. But as a player, as a, I mean, you're... Oh, no, it's great. It's great. Um, you know, can't beat it. It makes you feel like you're there. I tell you what, kid, you know, I wouldn't tell Ken Griffey Jr. that your favorite player has become Chase Utley. I might keep that to yourself, but he'll head down to Peoria, Arizona, where he will uh, be in the Mariners Rookie League for a while, and then they'll see where he goes from there. So no word yet on Dustin Ackley, uh, the Mariners' uh, first-round high pick. Uh, they got till mid 9.01 tomorrow night to sign him, so we'll uh, keep our eye on that situation for you as well. Fellas, back out to you. All right, Vinny, thank you. Yeah, certainly trying to get that Ackley deal done, and I think he's right. You don't want to tell Junior that he's been surpassed by a second baseman, Chase Utley. Wow! Well, don't let him get a hold of the tape. <laughs> yeah, that that could not end. Uh, yeah, not going to end enough. good. Yeah, not going to yeah, not end not well end good, yes. for Franklin. All right. <laughs> All right, Junior doing a very good thing again, helping the children out, helping charity. Junior back in the lineup today, hoping to help the Mariners get a win against the Yankees. And we've seen Mariano Rivera dominate the last couple of games with saves. But now, Bill, as we talked about last night, the bullpen is able to get the ball to him, especially a lefty like uh, Phil Koch. And uh, we're back now with New York Vinny talking about the Yankees' bullpen down on the field. Well, you know, guys, uh, the Yankees' bullpen, maybe in past years the problem was they had Mariano Rivera, then they had, you know, the starting pitchers, and there was a little bit of trouble getting from point A to, to maybe the best in baseball, point uh, B. But nowadays, manager Joe Girardi doesn't have that problem because he has a loose bunch of guys out in the bullpen in that Yankee bullpen. Talked to Phil Koch yesterday about why these guys are so loose and what, what they are doing, what they are like when they're out on the road in the opposing uh, stadium's bullpens. There's a lot of razzing out there. Um, it's kind of funny because they don't expect you to say anything back, and if you do, they think that, that they're swimming in your head or whatever, which is, either way, it's fine. And it's mostly funny to me. Yeah. Uh, the, the only parts that aren't funny is when people are out there using bad words when there's kids around and stuff like that. But, you know, when there's no, when there's no kids around and you kind of have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody, they, they go from razzing you to being like, all right, you know, you're not a bad guy. Okay. Because yeah, you're a ball player. You're getting to meet a major league ball player. You're, you're on the other team, but, you know, you're not a bad guy, you know, and, like, I'll come after batting practice and I'll sign autographs for people. Yeah. And I'm, I'll razz the fans a little bit while I'm, while I'm doing that. Like, some some people will try and order me to sign something for them. I'm like, wait a minute, I, I know your mom and dad taught you better than manners than that, man. Come on. Of course, if you're the Yankees, uh, you're used to getting a resin on the road. Uh, but you know what? When it comes to getting out there on the mound, they're all business, and they proved that last night. And uh, hopefully the Mariners will be able to solve them today in this contest. All right, guys, back out to you. All right, Vinny, thank you. Yeah, I think they are used to it. I think they get razzed just about everywhere they go. They kind of expect it now, don't they? Yep. Exactly. Most hated team, but the best team so far record-wise in baseball. Well, missing the first two games, losing the first two games. A-Rod, I should say, missed the first two games again. He is back in the lineup, and we're back on the Yankees' side talking with New York Vinny about A-Rod coming back, and 
Well, Mariners fans are certainly going to look forward to his first at-bat, don't you think, Vinny? Oh, yeah, I think so. Listen, Alex has become the guy that the Mariner fans love to hate. Even the ones that like him still kind of raise their eyebrow a little bit about him. And that's just the way it's going to be with Alex Rodriguez. The expectations are high, and rightfully so. I mean, Alex, when he was out of the lineup for the Yankees back at the beginning of the year, they were horrible. They couldn't seem to find their way. Alex gets back in the lineup, and it was really something to see. Mark Teixeira was hitting the buck something when he was in the lineup. All of a sudden, he's a 300 hitter. But those expectations, say Joe Girardi, means that Alex has to aim a little higher. I think with Alex, I, mean, I think the expectations are always so high. For Alex Rodriguez, I'm not sure he could ever do enough. I mean, that's the type of expectations that are put on him. I mean, I think he could drive in 150 runs and people are going to have something to say, well, he, you know, he could have done this a little bit better, which is really unfair. I can tell you from my standpoint, it's nice to have him in our clubhouse every day. And I think Alex always loves playing here in Seattle. Despite what the fans do, I think he loves coming back and being in safe go field, especially looking across and seeing Junior tonight. Boys, back up to you. Yeah, all right, Penny, thank you very much. Yeah, once teammates now kind of reunited as opposites on the diamond tonight is Junior and A-Rod. Let's take a look at the Yankees lineup. We did tell you that A-Rod... It's a storybook ending for the Yankees last night. We kind of continued the same. And for Mark Deshera hitting the big home run in the ninth inning, another win for the Yankees. I think that's 11 out of the last 12 games. Back to New York. Vinny, appropriate, you're covering New York tonight, Vinny. Uh, with more on Deshera and the Yanks. Thanks a lot, Brad. Yeah, a storybook ending, as you said. And uh, Mark Deshera is writing a story that uh, maybe includes names like Ruth, Gehrig, Mantle, and DiMaggio. As he says, walking in the Yankee Stadium and walking onto this Yankee team is something special with all the talent. We have so much talent on this team. It makes it a lot easier to, uh, to play on a team that's winning, that's uh, having a lot of fun together, and I'm having a great time. What's the, what's the character of this team this year? Because you guys started off slow, but yet were able to kind of pull things together at some point. Now, you know, you find yourself 20-plus games over 500, and really, I mean, starting to look back at the rest of the division. Um, how, what was the transformation like to get from that? Was it a matter of everybody coming together, or how does that work? I think just playing, just playing better, you know? I mean, we have so much talent, and, uh, you know, when, when you play long enough, the talent shines through, and I think that's what's happened the last couple months is our talent's just showing out there on the field. Was it interesting to go into New Yankee Stadium and kind of look around and say, okay, this is the new home and everything, even though it's your first year there, you played in the old place, obviously, uh, with other teams. Uh, you look up and you say, ah, oh, this is nice. I mean, this is uh, yeah. interesting. It's, it's the most incredible stadium in baseball. I mean, uh, you know, we can't, uh, can't be happier with the way the stadium turned out, and the fans love it, the players love it, and uh, it's going to be a great place for a lot of years. And kind of a park that's tailored to, to the way you hit, huh? It is. You know, uh, I try to try to pull the ball a little bit left-handed, and, you know, the short porch in Yankee Stadium's always been there. Um, you know, back to the, uh, you know, the Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, uh, you know, Mickey Mantle's a switch hitter, and Roger Maris. I mean, you name all the left-handed hitters that have done well in Yankee Stadium. Uh, you know, it's nice to have that short porch there. And with Alex and Teixeira, that tandem, the Yankees hope they'll be able to ride that thing back to the World Series and maybe back to a World Championship, although I think a few other teams in the American League might have something to say about that, guys. I would think you're exactly right, Vinny. Yeah, we talked about that short porch and the jet stream, of course, helping Teixeira 